EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2005. This game's taking place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the steel capital of America. Players will have to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Pittsburgh Panthers. And here come the Panthers. Hi and welcome everyone to another great college football game brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The Panthers don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. You know, I'm going to have to agree with that for one big reason. Notre Dame is going to be all over the quarterback in this one, Coach. Having one of the most gifted athletes at defensive end makes this defense that much better. He'll help his defense force some turnovers and get the win. And another thing, Pittsburgh does not have the talent up front defensively to stop their running game. Kirk, the only way they have a chance to win this game is to force turnovers. Even then, I don't think it's going to be enough for them to win. Notre Dame is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Kicks it off. Number 80 takes from the 10. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. It seems to me that he landed on his arm a little awkwardly. Get the ball here at the 27. First and 10. Set. Hot. Hot. They go with the run. And he's taken down. A two-yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 29. The Panthers line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. His receiver has it. And they make the stop. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Panthers come out in a shotgun. They hand it off again. He tries to spin. Brought down. That was a nice run. Well, he did a nice job of keeping his feet moving. Good, solid run. First and 10. Ball on the 39. They line up with split backs. Back to pass. He's going left. And he brings it down. The 10. Touchdown, Panthers. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for him. The one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdown. And he hits. 
kicks the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. Kickoff return, 20 yards. Number 82 on the return. It's first and 10, ball on the 20 yard line. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. Handoff, jump move, tackle. A two yard run by the halfback. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 22 yard line. Ace backfield. Handoff up the middle. And he's hit hard. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Third down and 12. Ball of the 18. Number 10, back in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. Finds his receiver. Spin move. And they tackle him. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. The Fighting Irish line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Looking, he steps up, and he throws it away. Second and 10, ball on the 46. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. Might have been some early movement up front. Dead ball. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Still They'll call him for a ball start. Yep, you got it. He just jumped a little bit too soon. The big fellas on the offensive line got to stay focused. It's second down. 15 to go. Ball on their own 41. Setting up the play action. Let's it go. And it's gone. And he's tackled. They tried a little play fake that time and got maybe a yard. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Pittsburgh lines up with five defensive backs. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Over the middle. And they make the stop. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The Irish are lining up to punt it away. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number 80 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 20-yard line. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll take over at the 20. The Panthers go with the eye formation. They'll give it off here. Tackle. He takes the handoff and responds with a seven-yard gain.
Second and three. Ball on the 27-yard line. Pittsburgh comes out with three receivers bunch. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's looking down the middle. Complete. Brought down. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 46. The Irish bring in the nickel package. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. Fantastic play by the cornerback. All you young defensive backs at home, that is how you play defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Panthers line up in a split back set. Little handoff. And he laterals it. They'll drop him for a loss. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stuff him for a loss. It's third down and 11 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Fighting Irish line up with six defensive backs. Complete. They'll bring him down. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. After a quarter of play, our score is Pittsburgh, seven, Notre Dame, nothing. Fourth and four, ball on the 48 yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Here's the, nope, they snap into the up back. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big-time plays. They'll set up shot at the 45. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside, and got it complete. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it out there. And it's incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number four, alone in the backfield. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Play action. He unloads it. Incomplete. He hung on to it, but he wasn't in play. Hey, Kirk, how wide is the football field? Uh, I think it's 53 yards. Kirk. Yep, 53 yards, my friend. And he couldn't drop it in there between the sidelines. Look at all that green. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 37. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. He's going left. The 10. Got him. And he's taken down. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. Toss, and he's taken down. The halfback toss gets them a yard. The 
offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Nice play fake. Fires to the end zone. Notre Dame comes out of the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Guns it to the end zone. It's dropped. Line up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. The kick is up. And it splits the uprights. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 19, ready to kick. And it's a short kickoff. Number 80, takes from the 10. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. They'll start this drive at the 29-yard line. Pittsburgh lines up in a pro set. And down he goes. An eight-yard gain. On the carry. Gain of eight on the play. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 37. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's going right. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Pittsburgh lines up in a goal line set, and now he pitches it. Number 43 recovers a loose ball. So they'll keep possession of the football. Good heads up play right there to see the loose ball and get on top of it. They come out in a punt formation. He gets it off. Number five, fields it at the 27. Gets past the tackler. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. Pittsburgh brings in the nickel here. And they'll run him again. And they make the stop. Notre Dame calls a timeout. It's second down and eight to go. Ball in their own 47. The Panthers bring in their dive package. He drops back. 
throws, finds a man inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and he gets the touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. Utilizing high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Notre Dame 10, Pittsburgh 7. like they're ready for the kickoff. And they'll be returning this one. Number 80 takes from the 10. There's a fumble. Number two with a recovery. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. He's in trouble. Across the middle. And down he goes. Notre Dame takes a timeout. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 17. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Inside and off, and he's taken down. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. First and 10, they're inside the 20. Pitch left. And they got him for a loss. So he's tackled for a loss by the linebacker. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. That was a dangerous throw. Oh, not a very good decision. He's got to either throw this one away or take a sack. You don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach. But that had been an interception. Number four is a deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Oh, short. It falls incomplete. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what, he was holding on for dear life there. I don't think he was concerned about the ball too much on that play. Nah. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up. And he got it. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. 
number 80. Takes it at the 8. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 28. They'll bring in their dime package. There's a play fake. He gets rid of this one. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Second and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. Number three is back in the gun. It's a bad snap. He spins. Tackle. Gain of two. Gain of two on the play. Third it's third and down and eight to go. Ball on the 30. Notre Dame comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Notre Dame calls a timeout. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Didn't get all of that one. And it's out of bounds at the 39. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. The Fighting Irish come out in a shotgun, looking. Long ball, right side. Brings it in, touchdown. They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback threw a strike for wide receiver. He put it and took it all away. But what a dangerous combination. You can't say enough about how good that throw was. The quarterback put that one right on the money. And he hits the PAT. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Notre Dame 20, Pittsburgh 7. Notre Dame lines up for the kickoff. Number 80 and number two back ready to return. Here's the kick. Number two fields it at the 11. They'll set up shot at the 26 yard line. Pittsburgh will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Notre Dame 20, Pittsburgh 7. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number five fields it at the two. 
And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 19. They come out in a nickel. The gives to the fullback. And he puts it on the turf. It's on the ground. And he's tackled. They should be thankful to get it back. Exactly. And the coach can breathe easy now that his own player recovered the fumble. First and ten. Ball on the 21. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. They get it out there on the toss. Spins upfield. And he's stopped behind the line. They were trying to stretch it to the sidelines, but the defense was just too quick. Those guys were in the backfield so fast, I thought they were going to pick it off. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 19. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. They go with a toss. Tackle. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Third down and seven. Ball on 24. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass. Under heavy pressure. He throws. Brought down. They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. Number four lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. And they make the stop. That's a three-yard pickup. Second and seven coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Irie come out showing three wide. Makes a move. They'll bring him down. Great run by the tailback. On that play, the defense looked a little overmatched there. They just got swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. High formation here. Again, he'll get the call. And he's tackled. A one-yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Panthers line up in a nickel back. He drops back. He lobs it left. And it's caught with a spin. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard there. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. He passes it, complete, knocked out of bounds. Drop back a yard. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He punts this one high in the air. Number 20 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 20-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. Number three with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got it. Tackle. Good yardage 
there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking rough. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. They come out with four wide out. Drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure. They'll bring him down. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Pittsburgh comes out with two tight ends. Keep it on the ground, tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they'll lose a yard there. One yard loss on the play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball right around midfield. Number 43 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They hand off on the count. Over. And he's taken down. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. He held him up on that play. It looked like he just grabbed his jersey and just refused to let it go. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 42. Pittsburgh lines up in a shotgun set. Over the middle. Hot. And he's tackled. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff throws the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. It's third down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Panther line up with three wide. Looks. Wants to throw outside. Knocked out of bounds. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they convert it third and long, it just makes them sick. First and ten, ball on the 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Fighting Irish line up with six defensive backs. Pitch is right. And they hit him in the backfield. Come on, he's just a skinny little cornerback. You got to be able to break that tackle and get some yardage. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Notre Dame 20, Pittsburgh 7. It's second down now, 14 to go. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number three with four wide receivers. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. He gets another, and this is a big one. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play, and they ran it to perfection. First time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. They'll bring him down. They gain about a yard on that quarterback sneak. One yard gain on the play. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Come up with a sack. 
The linebacker just shot in there and took down the quarterback. He hardly had time to go through his progressions before the fifth-year senior was in his face. Pittsburgh comes out with three receivers bunch. That snap from center with the throw. And it's caught. And he's tackled. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. Let's see if the defense is ready for him here. Across the middle. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one might be coming back. Here it is. Hold it. On the offense. Still that penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Fourth and a long shot. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. He's going right. And it's incomplete. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. Hand off up the middle. Tackle. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second and nine. Ball on the 19. Notre Dame lines up in a goal line set. On the ground, up the middle. Broke away from one. Brought down. Number That's a gain of eight. Ball carrier. Gain of eight on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball on their own 27. The Irish come to the line with their jumbo package. They go with a the run. They'll bring him down. He'll be stopped just short of a first down. Oh, so close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Pittsburgh takes a timeout. They send out the punting unit. He gets it off. Number 80 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 40. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First and 10. Ball on their own 40. Pittsburgh comes out with an eye formation. He's looking. Here they come. He gets rid of it. Off his hands, incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. Intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. From the gun. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. The wide receiver couldn't quite hang on to that. Number 81, the intended receiver on the play. Third and ten. Ball on the 40. Pittsburgh lines up in a bunch formation. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. He's got it. And they make the stop. 
They convert on third and long, guys. With the offense coming through in a big way that time, how about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. And he's tackled. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. Looking. He's going right. Got it. They'll bring him down. That quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Yeah, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. Have a look at our Old Spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Tackle. Well, they give it to the fullback, and he'll pick up just enough for the first down. Heads up play. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he picked it up easily. Looks like they'll try to power it right into the heart of the defense. Pittsburgh calls a timeout. He drops back. Rose. Almost picked off. He just couldn't find the handle. That poor kid looked like he was trying to catch a greased pig. Easy, Scooter. At least he kept the receiver from making the play. Number 43, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Let's see if they can convert. Back to pass. He's going left. And he can't make the catch. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll go to work at the nine-yard line. The Fighting Irish with four receivers. Tries to juke. And he's taken down. Pittsburgh takes a timeout. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 13. The Irish go with the eye formation. And he's tackled. And they continue to pound it out on the ground. Tick, tick, tick. Continue to milk that clock. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 16. On the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Pittsburgh probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Thanks for That's joining us for another game. presentation of NCAA Football 2005. And our final Pittsburgh score in this one, Notre Dame 20, Pittsburgh 7. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.